everyone welcome to my channel so today has been one of those days i think the beginning of this week has been just a little bit tiring for me and i'm talking about mental tiredness but it's not new it has happened before and it's going to happen again so i just took steps to you know replenish re rest and just to make sure that I am doing okay. I feel better. Um, uh, Chris keeps pu pushing that button. <laughs> button to make it worse. Um, but yeah, it's all part of it. Um, <laughs> he's a good man. It's just that sometimes he does not know what to do to help me. And that is when it's it's really good if I just go to God and pray. Um, it's not every time that he, Chris will have the answers. But anyway, <laughs> so I while I was just going through my journal and all that, I went back to you know those things that people said will happen um, if you are a homemaker and. For them, those are reasons why they would not advise people or women to become homemakers. Now, number one, most of these people were actually homemakers. Now, when I look at the definition of homemaker, it talks about a woman who manages a home. And traditionally, yeah, it normally refers to a woman who does who stays home full time does not work outside the home they just manage the first at the house and they prepare the home for their husband if they have kids for their kids as well and for visitors but we know that nowadays um, homemaking we there's room for working if there is a need to I for one do not want to work outside the home because I, I wouldn't be able to manage that in being a homemaker some people do that but they do not know that they are homemakers and it's interesting because a lot of people who told me no we're homemakers they are the ones they raise they are the ones who teach their children the, the women i spoke to they teach their children they they their husbands do too but they are mainly responsible for teaching the children they are responsible for cooking they are responsible for cleaning and yet and they work outside the home but they were advising me not to pursue this homemaking thing so i think there is number one a uh, people do not understand what homemaking is but anyway that's not the main thing so they shared with me reasons why I shouldn't be a homemaker. And I think these reasons are valid. And I am glad that Chris and I asked people about this. We are glad that we listened to what people were saying and did not just shut them up. Because these things do happen. Even if it did not happen to us or hasn't happened to us, it happens to people. So the number one thing that people talked about was security and when i'm talking about security they are talking about their husbands sticking or being there for them through thick and thin they did not trust that if they left their jobs and decided to work that um in maybe one day their husband would decide that he they were leaving and they wouldn't have any education or they will be stuck up they will be stuck they they did not trust their husbands so that was the number one thing um <laughs> like i said even though we did not have these issues we did not just shut it out we looked at why people were thinking this way and we looked at how we will as a couple overcome this or solve this or what we could we can do when we run into this now i love chris and i i trust him i trust god for his life that he is a godly man and he won't be doing all these things that people talk about but 
he is still a human being and he he sins so yeah those things were valid when people say hey this has happened and blah 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 we applied it to our lives and we look at ways that we could avoid it or what we will do if we reach that point the second thing and this was what was the main thing for us why we did not want to try this full-time me staying home thing it was financial issues we had needs and it's not just our needs when we look around us we were like especially i felt like you know i could work and i could help this person i could work and i could help this friend my family my church i could give more i i saw a lot of need and i did not feel like just staying home plus we as a couple had a lot of needs like we had plans we wanted to travel we wanted to enjoy some things and if i stayed home we will we have to cut those things so financial issue for us was the number one thing and i thought it would be the number one thing that people would talk about but it wasn't the main thing that a lot of women said they wouldn't stay home the reason the main reason was because of security like they do not trust their husbands that is why they would not stay home quit their jobs and stay home but for us it was for it was because of money 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 but like i said the uh, you we we present these things to god and we ask god so what do we do and like oh my goodness it, it's really amazing the things that god wants to do with us that we have no idea of like of course i have no idea of all the things god wants to do to, with me with my life but when he just shows me a bit i'm like wow so this is what god wanted to do because through these i don't know he has just taught us so many things and uh with the financial issue we also took it to him we learned to not leave for things not to work for things you know we learned that no matter how much money you get you still feel like you need more to get something that you haven't tried before and we learned that everything that we want is through acquired taste so i won't be right now i've never drove a range rover i don't know how it feels i don't really crave for it but once i start driving luxurious cars i might feel like i want more i want the next one i want so we we sort of feel we sort of learn that you know we don't want to work for things we don't want to work because we just want to acquire things and enjoy things we want to it, it's a whole lot maybe i'll go into detail later but god helps ha, god helped me especially when it came to financial stuff with the needs because those were legit stuff we had to trust god with them and when it came to you know this thing of me want to save the world to help people I had to trust, trust God that if he has not sent me, I should focus on where he has sent me. I should focus on where he has put me and let him work. If he cares for the sparrow, somebody said that if there are insects that <laughs> um, they sparkle, like they give off light, that's, that's how God created them. Imagine what God can do with you. It was just so funny to me. So I had to trust God with the needs. And sometimes I will see clearly that this thing, God is, uh, to me, I feel like God is not doing anything about this person's life and it's money they need. But I still have to trust God that he knows what he's doing and everything works together for our good. So the number three thing is dependency. I think it goes hand in hand with the security. People did, a lot of women do not want to be fully dependent on their husbands. Um, or let's say people do not want to be fully dependent on somebody else. So basically because I'm not working, um, it looks like I'm fully dependent on Chris. That's how the world sees it. But how it actually is, is that we are dependent on each other. <laughs> and once again, I'll go into detail later on. We are dependent on each other. 
and for me even if it's fully dependent on him that is what i want because god when we get married when we get married god wants us to reach oneness so if somebody's telling me that if you don't work you will be fully dependent on your husband that is what i want i want to be dependent on him i want us to be one in everything decision making i want not to have that choice to say i'm working out of this marriage because i have so so and so money in my account um is it, do i always feel this way no most of the time all these things i'm talking about like today i feel extremely tired exhausted and chris is just pressing those buttons and making it worse for me and i feel this thing of um you know exhaustion because exhaustion was one of the things burnout was one of the things people mentioned i feel it so if these things happen sometimes i feel that i need more money if only i could work these things happen sometimes i feel like i want to do something with money and chris is like no you have to wait or no we we, we can't do that and i feel like god if if only i didn't have to ask you know the dependency coming but those that those things are what i want to do but what does god want me to do so it's always about how i feel how he feels and what god things that we should, and what god is saying that we should do what the world says what we say and what god is saying okay let me continue so the next one is um job job status this one too i think i had it i had it i think the main thing for me was money and status it's not not that i really cared but it was that thing of growing up you just have to you know just there's always a standard that you know and that that people had to meet and being a housewife was not one of them unfortunately even though people claim that oh there is a system of you know what misogynist and whatever the terms are where women are being made unfortunately a lot of women do not know anything about homemaking that is why i tell people it's a sin problem i mean if you trace it down you will find out that a certain sin is common to men a certain sin is common to women like women normally do this men normally do this but generally it's just a sin problem so you have to look for the root so i realized that homemaking People do not teach their daughters homemaking because they feel like they will be, um, it, it, it's not a good thing to do. Like, why are you determining or telling your daughter about being, training them to be a housewife? To them, it doesn't make sense. So, w let's go back to what I was saying. I'm, I'm tired. My brains, I, I'm kind of having a brain <laughs> a brain freeze or whatever they talk it they call it so status was one of the things that i i really was like you know i want to be this person i want to show off you know if i have doctor to my name if i have chartered accountant to my name if i have whatever title to my name compared to housewife you know it feels good you know that fleshy thing so I had it and a lot of women told me also that they had that. They did not directly tell me that. But some of the examples that they would give was like, you know, even if I had money, you know, I had money, a full house of money, I'll still go to work. I'll still pursue my career. So for me, I felt like it was about because if you have money and you have so and they they want to stay home with their kids it's not even about passion as well their heart is with their kids and whatever but they just feel like they have to be something in the society and i'm like so being home with your child or being preparing a, the home for your family is not something to the society so status according to the society what matters so it was one of the things and this last one, 
people did not talk about it a lot but some people mentioned it they they mentioned that you'll be so stressed i am a lot of people said oh my goodness i can't do that i will be so stressed some people are like oh my god i'll go crazy i'll be depressed but even if you work outside the home there are times where you get tired the way i'm feeling today i felt this way when i used to work <laughs> so you know all these things i've listed they are issues that we face as people living in a fallen world as sinners uh, who have been saved but our, we still have this flesh and it always draws us i remember this story in the bible oh god i always not <laughs> remember uh, verses but i remember the story where moses sent out the spy to go check the land and they came back and they said "Ooh, the land is d indeed flowing with honey and milk but yo the people in there mm -mm -mm -mm, we don't want to go in there and what did they do next what did moses do i think they seek the lord's face okay so i have all these scary things in the land i have all these scary things that i have to face in my life but what do I do, you know? Um, whatever I'm feeling today, whatever Chris was doing not to help, and all, and all these things come to my mind. Ha, huh, they said it, you know. He's not even caring for me or whatever. And then, what, what, you know, somebody will be like, throw him away, put him in the trash. He's trash. <laughs> I love him so much. He's not trash. Well... It's a sin problem and we all face all these things. So what do we do? We take it to God. We take it to God. We take it to God. We seek his face and he helps us to win these battles. Do you have any battle in your life? I have struggles. I have battles. Whatever you call them, I do have them. They come and go. Sometimes I feel like I'm in the desert. Other times I feel like, ooh, I'm in the land of honey and milk. But this is real stuff that happened whether you stay home whether you work you will face challenges it doesn't mean that you start throwing people in the trash it doesn't mean that you will quit your job it doesn't mean that you now change your mind about what god says about you most of the time you take it to god do you do that that is what we're supposed to do. Take it to God and hear the truth that God is saying. So always remember, it's how you feel, how society feels or what society says about how you feel. And then what God says is the final one that you should take. So as a Christian, I'm just encouraging you today. I think these things were valid reasons that people gave me. And today I was reminded about them that Doreen excuse me at least you were warned and remember the things and i wrote verses you know to encourage me during these times if any of these things happened to me i wrote stuff in future i will discuss with you guys about what we what we do financially we are not big saving people like we don't just keep money big 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 money in some savings account whilst people are in need we don't do that but we definitely have um, emergency funds and stuff like that when it comes to security for me as a woman i told chris this every time i'm doing this because i believe god called me to do this and you should do your role because you believe god called you to do it and in case of any of us fall into sin or anything like that I am going to trust God that he put me here and he will see me through. But you know, Chris is a person who likes to plan and whatever. He won't take that. So I think even with that, he put himself in a place where in case of anything, I am safe. In case he decides to go and cheat and steal stuff from me. I don't know. When people say they don't trust their husbands, I guess they are talking about that but even with that he also did stuff that in case of anything i am safe but i that was not on my mind at all yes it, it used to get to me because i will be in women's group 
some people were even like oh if i should stay home my husband should pay me my salary and i'm thinking <laughs> Maybe I should, maybe Chris should be paying me my salary every month. But yeah, like, like I said, the world has a lot of things to say about whatever you are doing, but you must always take it to God. And it's mainly because of our sinful nature. Those are valid reasons, but it's because of our sinful nature. And we cannot make decisions based on that. Um, there's a job status. For me, I am really god is really taking me through this modesty phase i'm not there yet but i don't know what god has done to me it's crazy i my friend called me and he said i don't recognize you anymore you're not the doreen i know and i believe her because i don't even recognize myself i never thought that i would be this person and it shows for me <laughs> I know that people have planted seeds in my life and <laughs> I've not reached it like I always say, but I can definitely see the power of the Holy Spirit of the living God working in my life. When it comes to status or, you know, being known in the society or wearing things that are, I don't know what God did to me, but I do not really care anymore. And I'm always asking myself if these, these things are necessary. I don't know, but I think modesty has helped me when it comes to status and what society wants. Because most of the things that society wants, it's about, you know, fame and being recognized and all that. And trust me, I was that person. I was that person, but here I am. And do i desire them i do i think it's just something that it's in me but then again i don't care i don't know how it's working but i think god is just doing something in me god is just doing something in me do, does it sometimes get to me when people talk about certain things yeah it does you know there was a time that people spoke about my hair so much that you know, I was like, okay, honey, I need to do something to my hair. I started feeling bad. Now I have a pretty thick skin, but it eventually got to me. So yeah, all these things affect me. But like I said, take it to God. Burnout, depression, they happen. They happen. There is no single person, whether you are Bill Gates or um, whoever you are, how much money you have, every single person gets stressed they burn out, they get tired. So is that a reason for you to leave what you believe God has called you to? You know, people, maybe tomorrow you will see me fighting with Chris or <laughs> you see me saying, I want to leave, I want to leave. And you're like, ha, oh, we told you, we told you. But these are things that happen whether you're doing this or not. Even, you know, you just have to take it to God. So I'm going to end here. Remember to always be in worship no matter what is you going through be in worship and worship is not only through music remember to pray remember to take things to god trusting him and relying on him remember that this world is a fallen world and um the main thing that god wants us to know is the truth you know what he has done for us and for for us not to be deceived and for us to keep on spreading the truth. So sometimes I forget that and I take things so far like and God has to remind me, Darina, I already told you it's a fallen world. So <laughs> why am I closing my eyes? I think I want to pray. So I'm just going to sing more and pray more. I don't think I'll record that. And then I will just continue the rest of my evening. I think I'll just take care of a warm bath and go to bed so thank you for watching this is really long because i think i was really pouring out my heart always take it to god bye